All right, well, I'm here with Will. He's going to demonstrate a position in Schroth called side sitting. Side sitting is something that is only done with a specific curve type, with a thoracic curve with the pelvis in balance to the opposite side. And Will has an interesting curve. Will has a left thoracic curve, which is not very common to see. And Will also had a Chiari malformation, and you can see his scar right here. So um, if you want to learn more about Will, we did a podcast episode. You can, you, can watch, uh, you can listen to that and hear more about his story. But if we look at Will's back, we have a left thoracic curve, and his trunk wants to sit to the left of his pelvis. So if I'm looking straight from the back, I can see more angle here on the right, and it's straighter on the left. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to demonstrate how we work with this with the Schroth method. The side sitting position is interesting because we can do some overcorrection of the curve. This is not for every curve type. Make sure you check with your Schroth therapist before doing this. This is not one that I will have everyone do in, in the clinic. So let's get to it. So first thing is we're going to sit tall and shift the trunk to the right. So we're sitting over the pelvis, that's our pelvis correction. Then we're gonna grab onto the bar that's a little bit higher. That opens the concavity through that right side. Left hand on the left shoulder and his elbow is gonna be pushing out to the side. So that's our starting position. Our pelvis is a little overcorrected, which is good. That's how we want it. And reach forward just a little bit there, Will. Perfect. And then we're going to elongate the spine and get taller. We're breathing and we're expanding through the spine, through the ribs, trying to create some space. Nice, very good. Elbow still pushes out to the side. That's shoulder counter traction, so that that's countering what we're gonna do next. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna push in and forward a little bit on the prominence. We're gonna come back and outward on the right side in the concavity, expanding with breathing, opening, still pushing out, head goes tall, good. Then we're going to get some derotation, so we're gonna breathe forward on the left, backward on the right. So we're derotating the spine on the inhale, we derotate, on the exhale you try not to collapse. Very nice, so opening, the right side and derotating back. We're gonna add one little thing, take this right leg off of the stool, so shift to the side a little, yeah, and back. So bring your foot back, your left foot back. There you go. That drops the pelvis on the left side. Good, we're still doing all those corrections. We're adding some diagonal traction where we're elongating in a diagonal and we're still doing the derotation breathing. Very nice. That leg being off the stool drops this left hip. Nice, head tall. And good, perfect. Okay, Will, go ahead and relax there. That was a little bit quicker than I'd normally do, but you can see how Will's back does really well at correcting. Will is a pro at this, and we see way less asymmetry in the front and in the back when we do this correction. So that's side sitting. In the Schroth method, again, don't do this if you haven't worked with a Schroth therapist. Thanks for watching.